Hello everyone, welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. If you're new here, I welcome you. If you are a returning subscriber, I also welcome you. I want to thank all my old and new returning subscribers for constantly watching my video. If you're new here, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget that post notification bell so that you stay updated in any new video that I uploaded guys here i am again with another delicious recipe for you guys if you want to see how i make this delicious yummy delicious easy potato leaf keep on watching and without any further ado let's get cooking this team let's get started for my protein i have here goat meat and lamb mixed together for my protein and then next i have here my beef stripes some know it as cow belly some know it as shaki so i have my goat meat and lamb mixed together for my protein and my shaki cow belly then next i have here my smoked catfish if you don't have smoked catfish you can use any fish of your choice I have my smoked catfish then i also have here my palm oil which is the red oil i'm gonna be using then next i have here as you can see i have four medium sized onion with three scotch bonnet or habanero pepper all right if you don't eat spicy food you can adjust the spice to your liking then i have here my locust beans which we know as netetu so i'm going to blend the onions the pepper and the locust beans which is the knitted two together then this one medium sized onion here i'm going to add it with the potato leaf keep watching the video you will see what i'm going to be doing with that one medium sized onion it's important you watch this video to the end so that you don't miss any key ingredients then next i have here my additional scotch bonnet pepper or habanero pepper to float on the side in case it's not spicy enough for me then next i also have here the star of the show this is the frozen potato leaf yes it's a frozen potato leaf except for if you don't use the frozen one if you use the fresh one which you're going to cut on on your own you know no worries but if you're using the fresh potato um, the frozen potato leaf i will advise you to rinse it because it was already cut rinse it and squeeze all the water out then next for my seasoning they're very simple i'm going to be using salt and i'm also going to be using my maggi um, seasoning and also some onion powder like i said again watch this video to the end so that you don't miss any key ingredients in this recipe then i'm also going to be using this nor chicken nor seasoning as well use any season of your choice all right then next i'm going to go ahead and blend my um ingredients like i mentioned earlier my onions my scotch bonnet pepper or habanero pepper and i also added the locust beans and my nor seasoning cube and a little bit of salt adjust the salt to your own taste i'm going to blend it until everything smooth up really good like so the locust beans the pepper and also the onions mixed together if you're already liking this video give this video a big like a big thumbs up thumbs up and if you're new i hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and this is how the blended ingredients look like i'm going to go ahead and put that aside if you don't have locust beans it's perfectly fine you could also use ogiri in this recipe as well but if you don't have none it's perfectly fine then next, I'm going to go ahead and add my protein, which is my beef, um, goat meat, and my lamb mixed together in my pressure cooker. I'm going to add salt and my nor seasoning. And what you see me add there is onion powder, simply onion powder. Then I'm going to add a little bit of water and cook this on my pressure cooker, which is faster. 
all right then next i'm going to go ahead and save the beef stripe the cow belly for later i'm not going to add it in the pressure cooker then it's going to be too soft in the pressure cooker it doesn't require pressure cooker but the meat does so after pressure cooking my meat it is well cooked and this is how everything looks like if you don't have a pressure cooker you can simply follow the same method the same steps just boil it in your regular pot but I decided to use the pressure cooker because it is quicker and it's faster for me to cook the meat. And good meat temp tend to be very hard. Next, I'm going to transfer the meat into another pot. Then I'm going to add some of that broth that I use to cook the meat into the pot. As you can see, I'm not adding a lot of water because potato leaf... If you add too much water cooking your potato leaf, you're going to take so long in the kitchen. It's going to be, you're going to take so long in the kitchen and it's not going to cook. You know, it will cook, but it will take so long because potato leaf already have its own water. So you want to be mindful of that. So I added the broth from cooking the meat and then I added my cow belly, which is my shaki. Then I added my blended ingredients. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good mix. Then I will eyeball everything and see if I need more of the broth that I use to cook the, the meat. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more broth. Like I said, you want to eyeball everything. In African cooking, we tend to not measure. But like I said, eyeball everything. The more water you add, the less tastier your food is going to be anyway. But anyway, we're talking about potato leaf here. You want to be mindful not adding too much water into your potato leaf because potato leaf tend to have its own water, right? I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more. Then I will give it a good mix like so. Keep on watching and if you enjoy watching this video so far, I hope you will consider subscribing if you're new and give this video a big like. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my red oil, which we know as palm oil, dutir. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and add that. I'm going to go ahead and cook this some more. Obviously, the cow belly, the shaki, the beef stripe, again, was not cooked. So this is the time I added the beef stripe into the pot. I'm going to cook it along with the meat so that the palm oil will cook and my cow belly also will cook, which is the beef stripe. All right. I'm going to cook this until it's really tender and also some of the water. I want it to reduce down uh, more. And before I continue on, I'm going to add my smoked catfish in there. As you can see, I'm gently placing it on the top. I'm not pushing it down. I just want it to cook a little bit. I'm going to cook it and then I'm all also going to take the... Um, catfish out because i don't want it to break and also i'm going to debone the catfish because catfish catfish bone is very brutal that's one bone you don't want to mess with and again besides my son he's afraid of bone so i'm going to go ahead and debone the catfish and take all all of the bone out from the catfish all right so i left the head of the catfish there and i'm going to cook it some more and then also, like I said again, I'm going to cook it until most of the water reduced down more, more, a little bit more. Okay. Because like I said, you don't want too much water cooking your potato leaf. I'm going to cover the pot halfway like so because I don't want more water to go inside the pot. Because when you cover it, it's going to add more water. The steam is going to go inside and it's going to be more water. So I went ahead and cook it really um, make sure the water reduced down more and then also I'm going to add my frozen potato leaf Like I said, if you are cooking a fresh potato leaf, you don't have to worry But if you're also using a frozen potato leaf, I tend to rinse everything because I don't know where they cut the potato leaf I just purchase it here from my local grocery store So I rinsed it really good thoroughly because like I said, I don't know who cut the potato leaf and how they prepare it I came home and I rinse it, I strain it really good, and I also squeeze a lot of the water out. All right, you want to make sure you do that, you squeeze a lot of the water out. Potato leaf is mainly water. It will reduce down as you're cooking, you want to eyeball everything. 
Sometimes you might think you have a lot of potato leaf, but trust me, it reduces down just like it's just like any leaf you cook like spinach and, and, and so on. All right. So I'm going to give it a little bit mixed. Then I'm going to add that one onion. I told you guys earlier that I'm going to be adding with the potato leaf. This will give an extra, extra flavor into the potato leaf. Yes, it's a must. You must do this. All right. Add that raw onion in. And all right, it will be, the aroma will be out of this wall and also the taste will be out of this wall. Just use one medium sized onion and just chop it and add it after you add the potato leaf. Give it a good mix like so. And if you're enjoying watching this video once again so far, what are you waiting for? The like button is right there. The more you like, the more my video is going to be spread to other people. So if you like this video and you also new, the least you can do is subscribe to my channel. And don't forget that post notification bell so that you stay updated in any new video that I uploaded. And again, I want to thank all my old and new returning subscribers for constantly watching my video. Don't forget also to leave a comment down below if you have any question. So I'm going to go ahead and mix everything until it blends up really well into the sauce. All right. And then I'm going to cover the pot and let it cook on a low medium heat. Sometimes some people cook add some beans in their potato leaf, but I'm not going that route. I'm only cooking a straight simple potato leaf. All right, which I'm going to be enjoying with my white rice you will see at the end. So I came back, check on my potato leaf. As you can see, it's cooking really nicely already. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my deboned catfish. You can use whitening fish. You can use any fish of your choice. If you don't have catfish, if you want to add fish into it, that's fine. If you don't want to use any fish as well, that's also perfectly fine. If you just want to go with the um, meat or the goat meat or lamb or beef for your protein, that's also fine. You don't have to use cow belly, which is the shaki or beef stripe in it. If you simply want to just use um, meat to cook this recipe that's also fine you can use the hard chicken you can use smoked turkey as well in this recipe and it goes really really well with the potato leaf so i went ahead and add my deboned catfish and now i'm going to add my scotch bonnet pepper slash habanero pepper on the top in case it's not too spicy for me i could squeeze it on the side so a couple of minutes i covered the pad on a low medium heat i went ahead and checked my potato leaf as you can see it is cooking really nicely all right you don't want to rush this you want to cook it with love give it some time on a low medium heat and cook it make sure everything will taste good so after adding your potato leaf, you can go ahead and taste for salt. If you need more salt or any more seasoning, you can go ahead and add more. All right, which I did off camera. I went ahead and add a little bit of the Maggi seasoning and a little bit more salt. Like I said again, adjust the spice to your own liking. What's taste for me, tasty for me might not be tasty for you. As long as you follow the recipe, you should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the pot and let this potato leaf keep cooking. So a couple of minutes, I give it some time. And like I said again, on a low medium heat, no need to rush your cooking. The more you cook it with love and take your time, the more it's going to come out really tasty. And be mindful, don't forget not to put too much water in your potato leaf. It is very simple to cook this recipe, guys. It's not rocket science. So I went ahead and check on my potato leaf. As you can see, all the oil started to come up. The potato leaf is thoroughly cooked. And look at it, guys. Look how beautiful this potato leaf looks like. Oh, my goodness. The aroma in my kitchen was something else. And it tastes so good. All right. So this is how everything looks like. As you can, as you all know already how I do it for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and present it. To you guys and dish it out make a nice presentation for you guys so you guys will be more want to try this recipe 
so i'm dishing it out like i always do for you guys and like i said the least you can do for me is give this video a big like nothing more at all so i'm going to be enjoying my potato leaf with white rice yes you can enjoy this with fufu you can enjoy it with white rice you can also enjoy it with gari fufu whatever rocks your boat but i am going to enjoy mine with white rice all right and if you like this video, the least you can do is give this video a big like. If you're new, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget that post notification bell so that you'll be one of the first to know whenever I upload a new video. And leave your comment down below. Like this video, share it. And I hope you guys will try this recipe. Until I come your way next time, I'll see you all in my next upload. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye bye.